Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today I want to show you three ways that you can customize and edit product category pages within WooCommerce. It's pretty annoying how these essential WooCommerce category pages can't be modified very easily from their default setup, which leads to so many shops looking the same. This limits your ability to show off your unique brand, and perhaps even more crucially, it's difficult to optimize the pages for SEO and higher conversion strategies. Actually, if you haven't optimized your category pages in WooCommerce yet, first of all, you've come to the right video. But second of all, there is a great blog post by Woo Multistore, which includes 11 tips to boost conversions. Perhaps I'll make a full video about their recommendations in the future. But for now, I quickly want to share one of their tips about the use of customized product showcasing. They write, the initial products displayed within a category page should clearly demonstrate category specific products. Carefully determine the initial product showcase based upon the most popular items within the category. If you're running a sale or advertising new products, this space offers an enticing glimpse for potential buyers. So that's all well and good, but how do you actually modify the category pages within WooCommerce? Well, sit tight because I have three different methods to show you and they're all very easy to implement. You don't need any knowledge of coding, so let's get into it. For our first method, we're gonna create a new page and edit it and customize it however we'd like with the block editor. Then we're going to use a free plugin to redirect shoppers from our default page onto our new one. All we need to do is create a new page and give it a descriptive header. We can then add as many blocks as we'd like, such as a paragraphed text block for a more detailed description of the category. This is great for SEO and additional images or featured items. Then we need to add the WooCommerce block for products by category, choose the category and use the options on the sidebar to edit the page in any way that we like. For example, we can add or remove the reviews the price, or any other options such as this. Once we've published the page, we then need a plugin such as 301 redirects. You can easily find this and install it on your site, then copy the original link to your default category page, paste it in the first box, and copy the link of your new page and paste it in the second box. Then save this redirect and make sure it's working. Now, customers will only see your customized category page whenever they click on that category from the menu or anywhere else. There are some issues with this method. For one, it's tedious and takes a long time to set up if you have a big store. And sadly, it doesn't give you as many layout options for the products on the page as you might like. For that, you'll have to install an additional plugin, which leads us into our second method. If you want to completely optimize your category and other store pages based on the advice given by Woo Multistore in their blog post, then a table layout is a really good option, which is why here at Barn2, we created the WooCommerce product table plugin. A table layout helps you display more products and information in a compact layout that ends up using less space, as well as adding extra navigation features such as searching and filtering. That means that you can get more of your products and product details in front of shoppers, which ensures that they can see your whole catalog and increases your chance of them making a purchase. You'll also see SEO benefits with search engines as you can create and display more custom content on the page, which includes the product table, or you can even set up an entirely custom landing page. So now I want to show you how to set this up on your store. Once you purchase your copy, you'll get a zip file and a product key which we'll use for the installation. Then on your WordPress site, go to plugins and click add new on the menu. Click the upload plugin button and drop the zip file here and click install. In the setup wizard, add your license key and jump to the next step. I'd recommend choosing the store and category pages to display the table. Note that this will replace the default layout on these pages, which is what we want to do. Leave the table columns as they are for now. And if you have a lot of products, then lazy load is a good option. I'll leave it off for my store. If you want to have bulk ordering as an option, then use checkboxes as your add to cart method. For more traditional shops, the button will be a better option. 
I'd recommend leaving the quantities checked and for variations, you can either show them as drop down lists or show one variation per row, but I recommend leaving this option here. For product filters, we'll get back to this in a minute. So for now, you can leave it as show based on table content. We'll set up some custom filters later on. Now finish the setup and head to the settings page. Here we can see even more customization options. There's a lot, so I won't go into details right now. Instead, let's see what the plugin has done to our store and category pages. Here is the main store page, and you can see all the products are listed in the table format. And if I want, I can sort them by price using these buttons here. I can also add them to cart using this button here and add quantities like this. And the more I add, the more I can order at once. Using this button here, add selected items to cart. Now let's view a category page, for example, hoodies. And once again, you can see all the hoodies within the category listed here on the table. So I can see them all and read the descriptions all at once. Of course, this is just filler text, but I can also sort them by price. And if I want to buy in bulk, I can add this button here and buy as many as I'd like, adding them to the cart like this. I can also use this search bar to search for different items within the category. In case you want to add the product table to a custom made page, like the one that we created in the first part of this video, that's also really easy to do. You just need to add the product table block in the block editor. Just add the block to any page and you can use the options within the block as well as on the sidebar to customize the table in any way that you like. And one more thing that we should absolutely customize before the table is ready is the filters. At the moment, we don't have them set up properly, so let's fix that. Go back to the settings page by going to WooCommerce, Settings, Products, and Product Tables here. Then scroll down to Search and Filter. And instead of filtering products based on table content, we're going to create a custom filter. Then write a small short code in the box below. Write this short code, which is short for attribute, product attribute, and color. And this tells the table to add a color based filter to the top of the table. For other filter options, check out our knowledge base linked in the description below. Now scroll down to the bottom and save the changes. Then go back to your product table and check out how the filter works. So here I can filter by color. Putting in a different color gives me a different result. I can also reset to show all the products once again. And now you'll have a well-designed table layout for all of your products that you can display anywhere on your site, including your category and main shopping pages. No redirects are required. The third method is much simpler as it won't change the layout of your pages. However, it is really handy for adding more options such as quantity pickers and product variations on the shop and category pages. That way, customers can choose quantities and options without clicking through to the single product page. It only takes a few minutes to set up this plugin and get it working on your site. Check the description for a link to purchase WooCommerce Express shop page and install it on your WordPress site. And if you're worried about having to make a purchase, it is covered by our 30 day money back guarantee. So you can return it for a full refund if it's not for you. Next, the plugin setup wizard will open, add your license key, then tick the boxes to display quantity pickers and variations on your shop and category pages. Then finish setup and visit a category page to see what the plugin has done to your store. Now, as you can see on this page for hoodies, Customers can immediately select quantities and variations on the same category page without having to go to individual product pages. Now, here's a little bonus tip for you. First of all, I will confess I am not a programmer and this step is a little bit beyond my expertise. So I thought I'd share this video from WP Simple Hacks YouTube channel, where he explains how to use code snippets to add some different changes and modifications to your category pages. For example, you have the option to modify the position and shape of the sale icon by using a bit of code provided by the video creator. 
I thought it was too good not to share, so I've left a link to that video in the description below for anyone who's interested. If you do check it out, leave them a comment and let them know that Barn2 sent you there. Did this video help you out today? If it did, please leave us a like to let us know. And thanks in advance. And before you go, click on this video next to learn how to edit the Add to Cart button in WooCommerce. And of course, thanks for watching.